I do not believe that the men who served in uniform in Vietnam have been given the credit they deserve. It was a difficult war against an unorthodox enemy. William Westmoreland This is the Inland Naval Engagements U.S. Navy River Operations Vietnam Bronze Sculpture Created by Serena Goldstein Litovsky At first glance, we immediately see two sailors. One stands tense, knees bent, and ready for whatever is to come. The other lies down, gun in hand, waiting for orders. The ground has gunshell casings thrown about. There are boxes, and the railings are open, with lifesavers and ropes wrapped around them. The sailors are on a river patrol boat. We see two more boats with men on them, operating in a pair, one the lead, the other the cover. The water meets trees upon trees at the shore, and in the sky, there are two helicopters. We are in Vietnam. In the 1950s, U.S. Navy advisors began assisting South Vietnam in creating its Navy. But direct U.S. military involvement in Vietnam didn't happen until 1964 with the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution. The Mekong Delta, crucial for its economic and strategic importance, saw heavy Viet Cong activity during the war. To combat this, the U.S. initiated Operation Game Warden in 1965, followed by the establishment of the Mobile Riverine Force, the MRF, in 1967, which played a pivotal role during the Tet Offensive the following year. The MRF, assisted by Task Force 116, saved the Mekong Delta by helping South Vietnamese troops defeat Viet Cong attacks on provincial capitals and other major towns. Other riverine units, such as Task Force Clearwater, proved instrumental in keeping the Perfuim and Khoa Viet rivers open for supply traffic during the Tet Offensive. Later, the Southeast Asia Lake, Ocean, River, and Delta Strategy sea lords, combined efforts with the Vietnam Navy to block enemy infiltration from Cambodia. With their endeavors, this campaign reduced overall Viet Cong activity in the Mekong Delta. A total of 1,842,000 sailors served in Southeast Asia. The Navy provided the Allied effort with many unique capabilities, protecting U.S. combat power ashore and controlling the seas to support a land war in Asia. Overall, the Navy suffered the loss of 1,631 men and 4,178 wounded during the course of the Vietnam War. This bronze statue offers merely a glimpse into the actions of our sailors, acknowledging the often forgotten role of the riverine operations during the Vietnam War. It helps us to recognize the courageous service and sacrifices, and even serves as a memorial to those who lost their lives during these operations. Ultimately, this statue can inspire future generations by showcasing the courage, dedication, and innovation displayed by those who served in riverine operations.